Welcome to mail vlog number five. Dun, 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 dun. Let's get right into it. This first postcard is from Seth and it's the uh, the Iowa. That's pretty awesome. It says, I started watching our videos before going to Disney and we by far are his favorite YouTubers and his YouTube name is Stop Sneezing On Me, which is great. Ugh. And there is a uh, scratch and smell sticker on the back and I smelled it. What does it smell like? Oh, I can't really tell. Which one is it? It's there where it says scratch and oh. smell. <laughs> it says it's the ocean. Oh. It kind of smells like boy deodorant. Ocean flavored boy deodorant. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much, Seth. That's pretty awesome. That's cool. Yeah. This next postcard is from Bobby, and he's actually really funny because he goes, I'm from Orlando. I know it's a Cape Cod postcard, but he's from Orlando. And he says he's watched a lot of the older videos and back when we were doing New Versus Pro. So thank you very much, Bobby. He says, P.S. Bandit looks like one of his dogs. What kind of dog is he? Bandit is a Karen Terrier, which is the same kind of dog as Toto, but he's also a mix because we got him from the pound, so there's no really way of telling what kind of dog he is. Thanks, Bobby. You're the best. This next one is from Tina and Baz, which, by the way, I talk to you guys a lot in the comments. Thank you very much for leaving comments. I know we haven't gotten to comments in a little while, but that's just because all the Harry Potter craziness. We're going to get back to it soon. This is a postcard from where they live and it's pronounced Hesham. Most people say it wrong. I would say Hesham too, by the way. They said they're super excited for when they swap here for Florida in HHN 24. Yeah, we're super excited for Halloween Horror Nights 24. Awesome. Thank you very much, Tina and Baz. Their YouTube channel is youtube.com slash Tina and Baz. Thank you guys. These next three postcards, I believe, are all from Tim. He sent us some really awesome postcards from Adventureland and they look kind of like vintage, don't they? Yeah, they do. Isn't that fun? Adventureland has a new ride for 2014. The Storm Chaser Windseeker, 260 foot in air at 35 miles for three minutes. That's cool. Is it, I wonder if it's like a roller coaster or what? I'll have to look it up. Oh, I should have read this one first. Sorry. Hello, Tim and Jen. I love your videos. I watch daily. I am a YouTuber myself, mostly gameplay videos. Oh, cool. Tim's YouTube channel is K9 Productions 100. Oh, Adventureland is in Des Moines, Iowa. Okay. It says here, also make sure you and Jen come to Iowa and check out this place. I've never been to Iowa. And now if we go, we have a place to check out. Thank you so much, Tim. This one is from the crab cooker of Newport Beach, California. And this one is from Edward. It says, Hey, Tim and Jen, I look forward to watching your vids every day. I found you guys two years ago through your Halloween Horror Nights vids. I like seeing lots of cool pictures in Florida and we'll hopefully visit sometime. Thanks for all the vids and keep them coming. Say hi to the pups for me from Edward. Thank you so much, Edward. We're very excited about Halloween Horror Nights as well. And um, thank you for watching. And I will let Armani and Bandit know that you said hello. Thank you so much. Ooh, here's a, a postcard of Goliath. This is from Benny Luke. It says, just spent a fun day at my local theme park, Great America. It might not be as huge as Universal, but it does have a record setting wooden roller coaster. Do you guys like wooden coasters? Jen doesn't. Oh, this is a wooden roller coaster. Wow. That is? Yeah. No. That's Jen scared out that of her mind right be. now. That can't be. How? How is that a wooden roller coaster? I don't know. It just is. But that's awesome. That looks so scary. I'm going to have to do like a POV on YouTube now and look it up. Right? <laughs> Thank you very much, Lucas. That was awesome. This is the best. This is amazing. This is a Las Vegas postcard. It's from Lauren. She, her YouTube name is A Vegas Cutie. Um, she says, I think you guys are amazing. I've been watching your videos for about six months. You always have new things to do and I'm always entertained. If it wasn't obvious, I live in Las Vegas and I have a cat named Princess Pepperdoodle Blossom Von Yum Yum. <laughs> That's amazing. <laughs> That's the best name ever. That's going to be my firstborn's first name. Princess Pepperdoodle Blossom Von Yum Yum Tracker. I think that has a really good ring to it. But would you be mad if I stole your cat's name? Anyway, she said she's serious, which I like, I love that. That's great. Anyway, I just wanted to thank you for being so awesome and keep at it. Thank you so much, Lauren. I, can't, I, I would like for you to tweet me a picture of your cat if you can. Um, I wanna see Princess Pepperdoodle Blossom Von Yum Yum in real life. Thank you for the postcard, I love it. This one is from Gary, Sherry, and Ozzy, which I believe Ozzy is the dog. Yes. Oh. And he is a patterjack. I don't know what, what is a patterjack is. This is their dog. Oh my gosh. I don't know what a patterjack is. He's adorable. That's what he yeah. is. So he says that we're big fans of your YouTube channel. We are from Conway, North Wales. Hopefully the first from the Wales, which I think that they are. And they found our YouTube channel while looking for uh, universal videos. And they're super excited because in September 28th, they're coming for two weeks to Florida to go to Disney, SeaWorld, Busch Gardens, and Halloween Horror Nights. 
That is gonna be so awesome. I'm pretty sure that you will bump into us because we'll be there for Halloween Horror Nights a lot. Thank you, Gary and Sherry. By the way, you guys' names go together perfectly. To Tim and Jen, I'm going to Orlando, Florida in October. I hope to see you there. I watch your vids all the time. Sorry I don't have a postcard, but I live in St. Louis, Missouri, right back. Love, Autumn. Thank you, Autumn. This is so pretty. One of the shows that we used to watch was like filmed there. It was um, Defiance. I don't know if you guys ever watched that on sci-fi, but they were based out of St. Louis, like in the arch. But that's awesome. Thanks for the letter. We love it. All right, dear Tim and Jen, we live in Liverpool. Ooh, uh, Liverpool. Oh, myself, Becky, and who's 14, and her mom, oh, and her dad. They watch their vlogs on Sunday morning. That's awesome. Thank you. They're visiting Orlando in two weeks in August. Oh, you cool. You guys are gonna have so much fun. They're visiting for two weeks next August, August 2015. The fridge magnet and a couple of postcards from their city. Yay. Oh, I want a little history fact about Liv the Liverpool bu buildings. One looks out to the sea to watch over the sailors, and the other looks over the city to watch over the families behind. Oh, okay. From Becky. Okay. So Liverpool is like a, um, a like sea a town? Port town? I think so. I didn't so. know that. I don't know which one looks out. I think maybe this one looks out over the city, and this one looks out over the sea. I don't know. That's cool. But yeah, there's another another angle, I think, oh, yeah, of look at the, the same building, maybe? No. I don't know. And then this is Anfield. It is the Paisley Gateway. What is that? I don't know. I think it is. It's for Liverpool. Maybe the the football team. Oh, okay. Yeah, we're bad at at sports. And Sorry. then they sent us this sweet Liverpool oh, magnet. See, this thing see. is awesome. Yeah, this looks so cool. This reminds me of Harry Potter. Yeah. I mean, I know that it's not Harry Potter. I know it's Liverpool, but that's awesome. Thank you very much, Becky. This one says greetings from Key West. I was wearing a Sloppy Joe's um, t-shirt earlier on this morning, so. Yay, I love that, because this is Sloppy Joe's. This is a letter from Victoria. She has been watching our videos just a little after we started our channel five years ago in 2009. That's amazing. She said that, I hope you guys make it far in the YouTube community. I'm pretty sure you will with 32,732 subscribers. And she said, yes, I did just check how many subscribers you have. That's awesome. Um, that actually made me smile. Thank you for that. She said next time she goes to Orlando or to any of the theme parks, she hopes to run into us. And she says, please visit Key West, because that's where she's from. She says, even though I'm pretty sure you've already been to Key West, because I see when Tim is doing the outro in the kitchen, there is a Duval Street sticker on the fridge. That was my mom's, because she loved Key West. So I've never actually been, but I keep all of the magnets on the fridge, because it's just like a nice reminder. But that's awesome. She says she loves the Mickey waffle magnet. We love it too. Oh my gosh, that was so funny. Say hi to Bandit Armani and all the bats for me. That's awesome. Love your number one fan subscriber and friend Victoria she said oh good I don't mind if you read this on camera sorry I already read it <laughs> and then she drew a thumbs up look at that isn't that fun oh yeah look at that she did a good job thank you so much Victoria that's awesome we really appreciate it and you have nice handwriting this one's from Lucas and it's really fun he's from Illinois and he drew a little airplane down to Florida which is fun and then on the back he drew my sunglasses and my mustache oh. Some bats, a Mickey Mouse, the, the donut. Oh, yay! <laughs> the universal thing, and then now it's time to pay the price. Oh my gosh, that's so cute. Yeah. He discovered us by chance, and now he's hooked. He loves theme parks, Disney. His goal is to visit Disney and Universal parks on both coasts. That's oh, a yeah. good goal. That's my goal, too. I like that. For now, he visits the local theme park in Illinois called Six Flags Great America, which is actually really funny because he sent us the oh, brochure from there. Oh, and that's where the wooden roller coaster is. Oh my is. gosh, yeah. Is it really wood? Yeah. Why? That's so scary. Holy cow. This year they opened the world's tallest, steepest, and fastest wooden roller coaster uh, for Goliath. No. Let uh. me just say it deserves that name. Oh, hopefully you got the postcard that I sent. Oh, cool. Okay. Oh, he likes building and painting models. Oh, and sketching. I thought it said stretching for a second. I was like, that's a weird hobby to have. <laughs> just like, my hobby. He has a little black chihuahua named Cha-Cha. Oh. If we're ever near Chicago, grab a deep dish and check out Great America. I really want to. Me too, but Best I don't. Best wishes, I... Lucas. Thanks, Lucas. Thank you so much, Lucas. Wow. I, I'm not going to ride that ride, but I'll check it out. That looks awesome. <laughs> Inverted zero G stall. It flips over and then dives out of it. Oh. It's a wooden coaster. Oh, and he also said, the Columbia Carousel is the world's tallest double-decker carousel. It is one of the two ever made. It has over 100 carved horses, chariots, and animals. At over 10 stories tall, it is the icon of Great America. He sent us one of the squished pennies and oh, it has the carousel yeah. on it. Oh, wait, wait, let me get in a little closer. That's so cool. <gasps> Thank you. This is awesome. Yeah. This one is from Wesley. 
and he lives in Lakeland. That's oh, awesome. Cool. And he's 14 and he loves watching our videos. Oh, we have a lot of things in, t in common, me and him. He yeah. says that we both love dogs and we both listen to country music. His favorite singer is Justin Moore, which I'd have to look up a Justin Moore song. I like Brad Paisley. That's like my favorite country singer. <laughs> oh, one day he might be going to Universal. He says, maybe we can meet. Thank you very much, Leslie. That was very nice of you. Yay. Awesome, thank you. All right, I got another letter from Janine who um, lived in Greenville, where I had family in South Carolina. She sent another letter. She said she was very excited to find out that I had family in Greenville. She said it's a very small world, um, and it is. It's very true. Uh, she said that in the first letter, she talked about um, local festivals and things like that and her job. So this letter, she's telling us a little bit more about her job. And she said she is awaiting a call from the organizer of a local horror and comic convention called MonsterCon. Oh, they're gonna let her know if she can interview Doug Jones. He is Abe from Hellboy. That's pretty exciting. Or Butch Patrick, the man who played Eddie Monster on The Monsters. That's exciting. She said this year she's talked to Bill Maher and Lou Ferrigno. That's really cool. Oh, she left the story that she wrote, her um, story about Lou Ferrigno. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, this is so cool. I can't wait to read this. This is so neat. Thank you so much, Janine, for writing another letter. That's awesome. You have a very exciting life. I've never met any of those people. <laughs> Thank you so much for sending another letter. This next fun package is from Laura and Ashley. They were married Saturday the 14th. Oh, they were just married. Congratulations, you guys. America is our most favorite holiday destination and it is our aim to visit all 50 states someday. I've never been to all 50 states. Um, that sounds like a really cool goal and I hope you guys get to do that. That sounds awesome. As for uh, September this year, they will have visited 18 states. Wow, you guys travel a lot, that's cool. It says, Orlando remains the ultimate family favorite and your videos bring back so many happy memories. We appreciate all the time and effort it must take. So thank you and keep up the good work. Thank you so much. And this is um, Isle of Man TT races. What's TT? Uh, I don't know. Oh. I'm guessing it's motorcycles. Okay. Very cool, I like that. Um, and then here's another one they sent us, which is the Isle of Man. Um, it says, we are from a small place in the middle of the Irish Sea and have sent you a few things that reflect our Manx pride. A magnet with some common Manx phrases. Ties to, how are you? Mulgari me, good morning. I, I don't, I'm not saying any of these correct, I'm sure, but. Nice. That's cool, right? Feister my, good afternoon slash evening. That's cool, I like that. The lucky Manx cat, oh, Manx cat. That's where Manx cats come from? I think so. Oh, that's cool. But it's a lucky pin. The three legs is a symbol of our island and our flag. I've seen this before. Well, it was just on the other thing you held up. Oh, okay. <laughs> that's awesome. Um, and souvenirs from the races, the world's greatest motorbike race. So there's a really cool magnet. It's got the, the legs and the cat. I think this is from the races. Oh yeah. It's a sticker from the races. And then, oh, it was the legs. They're mint chocolate legs, but they broke in the mail. But you can oh, kind of yeah. see how some of them are the legs. Yeah. That's awesome. Thank you so much. And they're mint chocolate. Thank you so much. This next one is from Rachel and she is 22 and she's from Edinburgh. She sent us some postcards and like a description of what the postcards are here. But she wanted to tell us that she found our channel in August of 2012 when she was going through a really tough time. And it was um, super sad for her because she had just booked a trip to Orlando oh. and they had to cancel it because her mom got sick. Oh no. And then she also was having a hard time at her job where she was stuck in like a, a job that she didn't like at all. And she said that our videos helped her through all this stuff. Oh. And she said that her mom pulled through, made Good. a complete recovery. Yay. And in September 2013, she got to go. Oh, good. To Orlando. Yay. And she also got a new job that she's super happy about. And she celebrated four and a half years with her boyfriend. Oh. And they're about to go, and she's about to go into her final year of university. That's and awesome. And she said, I just wanted to share how much you guys helped me out and that I'm happy that I found your channel and you guys are awesome and cute together. Oh. I wish you all the luck with your YouTube channel and you have a loyal follower from Scotland. P.S. Give our money and bandit a cuddle for me. Oh, I love when they have like a happy ending. I'm so happy that your mom is okay and that you were able to still take your trip and that you love the videos. Thank you so much. All right, you ready? This is Edinburgh Castle. It isn't located in the middle of nowhere. It's actually located right in the middle of the biggest shopping street. Oh, wow. Princess Street. I pass the castle every day on my way to work and she can actually see it from her work. This is a Highland cow. 
These actually exist. Oh yeah, they're so furry. Yeah, he's like, sup bro. Wow, thank you so much, Rachel. That was awesome. That was awesome. Thank you, I'm glad that it was a happy ending too. They sent like the tiniest little packages Look ever. at this. Oh, there is a tiny letter in there. Can you see that? There's a tiny letter. Wow. Okay, I have to open this, but I don't even want to ruin it. Oh my gosh. This is the coolest thing. It is the tiniest letter and a 10 times magnifying glass. And that even has a, a thing on it too. That's pretty awesome. This is so crazy. It's from... Use the magnifying glass, oh, silly. Yeah. <laughs> it's from Aaron. I don't, I don't want to ruin it though. Oh my gosh, I can't believe this. Is this real? Look at this. Oh my gosh, look. This is so cool. It says, Tim and Jen, thank you for always posting your videos. They truly make me happy. Your optimism is so inspiring. I'm only a junior in high school now, but I hope when I get older, I will have a great life like you guys. And hopefully I can have such a strong relationship with someone like you guys have with for each other. You guys are perfect for each other. And I'm going to Orlando in July to visit the new Diagon Alley. I'm such a Potterhead, so I appreciate all the updates. I will be staying on the very dangerous I drive. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, sorry. Oh no, he says, thanks for scaring the crap out of me. Haha, <laughs> just kidding. Oh no, here's a quick summary of me. I love to travel, so your vlog is right up my alley because I love amusement parks. Aaron, this is so cool. Thank you, Aaron. Um, I want to open the little package. You want to open it? Okay. It's got like little stamps and everything on it. This it says so to cute. Tim and Jen. I, is, this, is this a company that you use? The best vloggers on YouTube from, yes. from Aaron. Okay. Oh. Your vlogs make me so happy. Aw. Oh, it's like a fortune cookie. Oh my gosh. Look. What is it? What is it? There's like a little teeny tiny newspaper in here. Oh, it has a crossword and everything. Oh, and it was just a bouncy ball in there. Yeah, oh. that's awesome. Sorry. This is so cute. Thank it's you. It's small of times. Global warming, no small matter. Oh, it's just full of puns. That's awesome. <laughs> small wonders of the sea discovered. Chiny chickens crosses the sidewalk. Well, it's like full-out stories, too. If global warming continues to accelerate at the current alarming rate, we could be looking at major climate changes around the globe in the... Oh, yeah. See, I got super eyes, so I don't need this kind of stuff. This is awesome. We should do... Oh, here you go. Snail trails. Now go and hide, and I'll count to a thousand. That's funny. <laughs> That's their comic. Wow. This is so cool. That's Thank you awesome. so much, Aaron. This is like the coolest thing we've ever received in the mail, ever. That's awesome. This is from Curtis and Robin in Alabama. It says, howdy from Alabama. <laughs> Thought you would like this bale of cotton and a postcard with a few facts about Alabama. Look at this, it's like it's like a little, the tiniest little bale of cotton. And it says souvenir cotton bale right there. This thing is awesome. I've been following you two since last October. Love your sense of humor and watch you guys when I come home from work. And now he's got the wife watching with him too. Oh, cool. So here's some fun facts about Alabama. The state bird is the yellow hammer. State flower is the camilla. The state tree is the southern pine. There's the flag. Oh, nice. That's right. a lot of fun facts. Thank you very much, Curtis and Robin. I like this. I'm yeah, it's really it. cool. <laughs> Thank you. This next one is from Anna and it comes from Pennsylvania. And Anna sent us a rock. She lives in Pennsylvania, but she loves Florida so much and she has many fond memories of here, mainly Disney. This rock is from the shores of a lake here in Codanus. I actually just went there today with my aunt. Oh, cool. Um, sorry if I'm not pronouncing that right. Uh, it's very nice in Southern Pennsylvania. It's so beautiful in the summer. I've never actually been to Pennsylvania and we were talking about going because Tim has family there. So maybe we can go to the lake that this rock is from. I hope you enjoy adding the rock to your collection and having a piece of lazy Pennsylvania summers by the lake near your pool. Oh, thank you so much, Anna. That's awesome. I love this rock. This is awesome. Thank you. This is from Mike and he is from Indiana, which is kind of interesting because he sent us a lot of stuff about Chicago. Oh, cool. And he says that, oh, he was born in Chicago, but he lived most of his life in Indiana and it's less than an hour drive from Chicago. He says that he found us by looking for Halloween Horror Nights videos a few months ago, and he's a quote unquote nut for Universal Studios Orlando. Oh. He tries to visit every year for Halloween Horror Nights. Oh yeah, that's the best that's time. That's pretty awesome. He likes watching us because we're so real, and he likes the, the house and everything that we've done to it so far. And oh, he likes thanks. Bandit and Armani. He's a cat person. He has oh. two cats. He goes, I know you're not a cat person. Too. <laughs> 
That's funny. He lives just a few miles away from the original jail that Dillinger broke out of many years ago. Oh, that is wow. Awesome. That's cool. It's also the jail they used for filming the movie Public Enemies. Okay. That is sweet. The reason for the snow globe. Since we all complain about the winters up here, now you can share some of the Chicago snowfall. Oh, so it's a, it's a snow see. globe of downtown Chicago. Oh my gosh, there's a lot of tall buildings in Chicago. Oh, there's the bean. The Chicago bean? Yeah. Oh, that's pretty fun. Bandit thought I was talking to him. Did you think I was calling you? <laughs> so he's going to be down here October 8th through 15th. Yay. That is great. And then he sent us uh, a postcard from Jimmy Buffett's Margarita Bar in downtown Chicago. Oh, nice. Sent us a magnet from Jimmy Buffett's Margarita Bar. Oh, we love margaritas. And then he sent us some mints from Wrigley's Field. Oh, cool. Yeah. By the way, I'm a... Uh, that's funny. It says on the marquee for Brett that's out of the park. <laughs> uh, but I'm a big fan of the Cubs. Thank you very much, Mike. These are awesome. I can't wait to put this somewhere. I'm just going to shake this a lot. <laughs> I like. This one is from Holly. Dear Tim and Jen, sorry for the handwriting. I think your handwriting is very nice, so you don't have to apologize. She says, first may I say your channel is the best daily vlog channel on YouTube that's ever been. Yay, that's awesome. Because of the... The fun and adventurous things you do every vlog. You gained my viewership back in 2011 with a video titled "Standing in Line to See the Ellen Show." Oh, that's when you. I didn't go. I didn't get to go. That was just Tim. But that was a fun video. You were there with Patrick, right? I think so. Yeah. Very cool. Um, from there, she was hooked. That's so cool with the upbeat mustache guy and his wife. That's awesome. Oh, and then she decided to go back and watch from the very beginning. Oh, this is so nice. She said so many nice things about us. Thank you so much. That was really sweet of you. She said that we have a non-boring vlog. That's awesome. Thank you. Oh, she's from Georgia. That's fun. Your videos are like what might or what some might say about Ellen's TV show. A positive outlook, a symbol of good, and much more. Oh, that's really nice to say. Thank you. I watched you guys with my pup. Her name is Bindi, named after Steve Irwin's daughter. Oh, that's very nice. Oh, an interesting fact about her is she taught herself how to write with her left hand just for fun. So she's ambidextrous. Oh, now she's writing with her left hand. That's awesome. All right, she sent this um, little coin. It's from a local parade in Mississippi that her mom and dad, they were the float king leader person this year. And this was one of the things that they threw out. That's pretty cool. That's awesome that your parents were on a float. She sent us some really cool beads, but she says that they're actually from New Orleans because she lived there for 10 years and they used to go to Mardi Gras and the beads are from the crew of the Bacchus. The color for Tim was decided from when he told the viewers about his background. So I looked up the Polish flag colors and yours are because you said you like orange. And I've also included red, white, and blue because hopefully you'll be receiving this near 4th of July. Um, that's awesome, thank you so much. She says, ta-ta for now, uh, hashtag go track team, hashtag forever a track member. Thank you for videoing your life and I hope you continue for a long time. I hope we continue for a long time too, thank you. I think that we probably will. And uh, I appreciate that you watch the vlogs. Thank you so much. And then she also sent us a fun picture. Look at this. This is my favorite. I'm a Lego person Man. and it says Brad Pitt because I love Brad Pitt. And now it's time to eat some rice. And now it's time to pay the price. And look, she drew you perfect. Oh yeah, everything is awesome. Thank you so much, Holly. This is great. Jen was so excited about what? Oh, chocolate. Yeah. Oh, it's open. Is it? Is it open? No, that's the design on the front. Oh. So you can see the chocolate. Oh. Whoa. This is awesome. There's like so much stuff. I'm just, I'm like, I'm like just pulling these things out of here. <gasps> Ooh. Ooh. Ah. Wow. Ooh, these are like Kit Kat bars right yeah, here. Yeah, they look so good. That looks awesome. Oh, from Norway. Greetings from Norway. We've been to Orlando three times and we're going again in October for three weeks. Norwegians have five weeks holiday. Oh, wow. From Rita and Paul Jake. That's awesome. Thank you. Look at this crazy skier guy jumping off a cliff. Oh, wow. So this is totally Norwegian chocolate. I feel like I'm Charlie in the Chocolate Factory. <laughs> Look at a Heath bar. No, it's not. It's cereal. Oh, yeah. It's like chewy cereal. It's, you know, those um, chocolates that have like frosted flakes in them. That's 100% true. That tastes like chocolate covered frosted flakes. That's right. good. Thank you very much, Rita and Paul. Um, we're gonna eat all this chocolate right now because it's it. delicious. Oh, so good. This is from Sean, but Sean <laughs> sent us an, an Amazon dropship. This is a pretzel pool float. How cool is that? It says that there is a banana. So I think this is a banana. 
It's a banana pool toy party. Four foot giant inflatable banana pool toy party inflatables, new. I'm excited to see what this is. And, oh my gosh, this is the best part. Yeah, he sent us an air pump. He mailed us a pump so that we could blow these up. Awesome. <laughs> Thank you so much, Sean. Yeah, that's like, this is cool. This is like the coolest thing. Thank you. That was awesome of you. I'm so excited. <laughs> Thank you. This is from Craig. Hey guys, couldn't find a pizza, but our watermelon to go with Jen's watermelon shirt, which you're wearing Oh, right I'm now. wearing it. <laughs> uh, it's close enough. Coming to Florida September, can't wait. Hope to bump into you both. Craig from England. Oh, wow. Wow. His Twitter is Craig is like win. Ooh. And he sent us a giant inflatable watermelon. Oh, my God. I feel like this girl, she's like trying to give the thumbs up in this picture, but she just <laughs> couldn't do it. She's like, mm, no. I love that. That is so cool. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. We're going to have so many pool floats. This is going to be amazing. Yes. <laughs> and we can inflate it now. I know. Thank you so much, Craig. That is awesome. Thank you, Craig. Look. I'm wearing my, you can kind of see it. I'm wearing my watermelon shirt. Yay. This one is from Parker. He lives in Enterprise, Alabama, which is mostly known for its boll weevil monument. It's the only statue in the world devoted to a pest. Oh, right? it's, it's a like, bug. It's a bug, yeah. Oh, cool. You can read all about it online. Uh, he printed out an old postcard. That's really funny. I wonder why, like, is that where the bug came from? Maybe. He said that he went to Haiti with his family on a mission trip. Mm -hmm. And so that's why he sent us a postcard from Haiti. Oh, neat. And he also got us each a bracelet from oh, Haiti. Wow. Wrapped in the bubble wrap is a piece of coral that washed up on the beach. Oh, wow. Oh, I know you guys God. love rocks, so I <gasps> thought I would have a piece of coral to your collection. Oh, my gosh. This is so crazy. Wow, and this is... Next spring, he's coming to the theme parks. And he hopes to meet us. Thank you. This is awesome. Yeah, we love it. This is so great. This one is from Kimberly. She says, hello, I'm Kimberly, 20 years old, and live in the itty bitty southern British island, the Isle of Wight. White is pronounced like the color white. Um, it's a cute, quaint island, and like Orlando, our main income is tourism. That's cool. Oh, to the point that they have the UK's oldest theme park. It's called Black Gang Chine. Chine? Black Gang Chine? Um, I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right. I'm sorry. Uh, it's opened in 1843. It's built on a cliff, which is slowly eroding about four meters every year. Worried face. Yeah, I would be worried too. That sounds scary. Um, every time I go, it's smaller. Oh no. They have so many old houses. Um, the most famous being the Osborne house, which Queen Victoria had built as her holiday home back in Victorian times. Wow, that's cool. We have two major UK music festivals uh -huh. each year. One in June and one in September. Oh, she worked backstage at one of the festivals in 2011 and she said it was awesome. The aisle is about 26 miles east to west. Oh, wow. And there's a huge charity event every year where loads of people walk across it. Oh, that's cool. She's gonna try it. That's awesome. She started watching our videos back around January. That's when they decided to visit Florida. They were searching for Disney Florida on YouTube and that's how they found us. They've been a fan ever since. She's only missed a few episodes. Like one when, when she was away. Oh, or the creepy spider one. Sorry. <laughs> we have a lot of creepy spiders. Um, they came in March and they loved it so much. She's going to come back for a week in March. Maybe she'll bump into us. You never know. And she said, keep being awesome. Thank you so much. And keep paying the price. Thank you so much. Thank you, Kimberly. Oh, and she says to look in all of the newspaper things. She sent us a tea towel from the Isle of Wight. We have so many tea towels. I have to drink more tea. This is fun though, right? That's it gives fun. us all the fun like... Like, I want to go here. What's this? They're having a good time. Oh, look at this. What is this? It's a red squirrel. Their squirrels look totally different than ours do. They look got at pointy their, ears. Yeah, look at their little hairy ears. And they're like, this is this is really fun. Ooh, she sent us two shot glasses. Um, wonderful Isle of Wight. This is cool. And then it gives kind of like the little map. Neat. I like that. Oh, and then she gave us some really awesome postcards. Hello from the Isle of Wight. Oh, this is the part of the island where she's from. That's cool. Oh, this is her local beach. Oh, it kind of looks like a Florida beach. It has flowers, though. Well, yeah, I, yeah, that's pretty. Mm -hmm. We have our own Wonders of the Isle of Wight. <laughs> it says, that's bird right, poop. dear. Slap on plenty of sun cream, and it's just all bird poop. Oh, no. She sent us some biscuits. Uh, there are Golden Crunch biscuits. Those look delicious. And Clotted Cream Shortbread. I love Clotted Cream. 
Mmm, I can't wait to try those. She sent us some stick of rock and she said it's like a candy cane. Careful when you're eating it. And actually, um, our friends, Jen and Daryl, brought us over some stick of rock and it was, uh, it was cool, it was different. But thank you, now we have, we're all stocked up. Oh, this is funny. She sent us a giant pencil. She said, I remember you enjoyed giant pencils. <laughs> thank you so much. Look how fun that is. It really is a giant pencil from the Isle of Wight. She sent us a teeny tiny mug. It's a magnet. Look at this other magnet she sent. It's like the Isle of Wight in the ocean. That's fun. Uh-oh. Oh, did I break it? I'll fix it. Sorry. There you go. That's what it's really supposed to look like. Yeah, it like sticks out a little bit from it. Nice. She said, I was worried with customs and sending rocks, so I managed to find a pebble I knew would get to you. That's a really cool idea. Oh, and look, she also sent us this really awesome bag from the Isle of Wight. Thank you so much, Kim. This is great. Like, look at all this awesome, fun stuff you got. I love this. <laughs> Thank you for everything. We really appreciate it. This is from Ashley Campbell. And she says uh, she wants to tell us a little bit about herself. And she's 28 years old, married, and she has no kids. But she has a little fur baby. Aww. And the little fur baby is named Libby. It's a pa Papillon Pomeranian mix. She's five years old and a killer five pounds. She has a great story about the dog. It's actually kind of sad because uh, they came home to find a scared little puppy covered in long hair outside in triple digit heat with no water. They took her in and they just figured they would give her back to the people when they came home. They didn't come home for five days. Oh my They're gosh. Like, Our dog now. Thanks. Well, yeah, I mean, if you're not gonna, if you're gonna leave your dog alone for five days. Mm hmm. And she said it didn't matter because they eventually got kicked out for being terrible. Wow. People. And oh, uh, I'm happy you guys took care of the dog. Yeah. Uh, a week before her wedding, she had a pretty significant snowstorm and she was all worried about it uh, because the weather's so crazy up in Indiana that she was freaking out and then her wedding finally rolled around and it was 70 degrees outside. Oh. Perfect. Oh my but God. then there was a tornado warning at her reception. Oh no. Which is crazy. That is crazy. Her favorite uh, hockey team is the Evansville Icemen. And they're in the same league as our solar bears down here. So they like play each other in games. Oh, cool. Which is pretty awesome. She said that she was like super uh, into them, so she sent us a shot glass. Oh wow, this is this is a cool shot glass. And then she crochets items and she sells them. That's awesome. And so she sent us some of the stuff that she's <gasps> she crocheted because she is addicted to crocheting. She said that's a beach tote. This is so cool. It's really pretty. She doesn't have any beaches around town, so she uses it to take things to the farmers market. Oh, good idea. She also crocheted some cute little owl coasters. Oh, fun! Check these out, you guys. She taught herself to crochet four years ago by watching videos on YouTube. This is so cute. She gave us some some honey from the local farmer market yeah and I love some honey. grippos gourmet barbecue spice that is awesome um, I can't wait to use both of these grippos are very popular around here and quintessential Ed Evansville item Ooh, this is fun like barbecue flavored potato chips yeah I can't wait to try these she's planning a visit to Universal and she can't wait to see what's changed since the last time she visited in 2004 oh everything <laughs> wow. thank you very much Ashley this that is was awesome. awesome thank you I'm actually wearing the purse right now sorry <laughs> I love it yeah, thank you so much. Thank you guys so much for all the stuff that you guys send to us. That I mean, was awesome. This is everything. Sorry, I'm going to clean it up so it doesn't look so crazy. But holy cow, you guys. You guys are great. You guys and are amazing. Also, we still have to go back on a weekday because... Oh, yeah, we didn't know was, that there was a... <laughs> there was too much mail. You guys are too awesome. Holy macaroni. Thank you so much, guys. Thank you guys so much.